as I was doing deep market analysis, I figured out that there's a slight change on how the market was moving comparing to how it is moving right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who noticed this. A lot of people lost money on the previous week, okay? And uh, so as to make sure my strategy remains accurate and profitable in the long run, I had to uh, modify and adjust according to the way the algorithm changed. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my latest strategy which I'm using to catch spikes and also to trade against the spikes. What you doing on YouTube? Welcome back to the one and only best trading channel for Boom and Crutch. If you're new, uh, join the family by hitting that red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon, and also don't forget to join my Telegram channel. I do provide some free signals right there, okay? Without wasting much of your time, let's get deep into today's video. And this is my uh, first confirmation trend line bounce, and then uh, the stochastic oscillator. This is my second confirmation. So right now I'm anticipating a crash 500 to buy all the way up after all this confirm uh, after all this confirmation I'm anticipating it to go all the way up let's wait and see how the market is going to treat me let's just wait and see how the market is going to treat me a few moments later all right so before I show you the booming crash indicator which I'm using First, I do what is called top-down analysis, okay? I do what is called top-down analysis. You can see right here, I identified the trend direction. And right here, this was my uh, this was my original trend line. Like, this is the first trend line, which have got green. Okay, I connected this first peak, second peak, third peak, fourth peak, and then fifth peak, okay? And then after identifying this zone, which have been uh, respected more frequently, I copy and pasted the same trend line on the uh, on the lower side okay like right here as soon as i started connecting it there was this zone which was respected another zone which was respected another zone which was respected okay and then i pasted this same trend line on the lower side there was this zone and there was this zone okay you can see right now the trend is on a downtrend okay the trend is on a downtrend and what i'm seeing is there is break of structure uh, if you uh, if you trace the trend starting from here, you can see that they, it was on a downtrend. But as soon as it reached this level, the market came and made in, a break out on this uh, green trend line. And then after that, it went and bounced on this resistance, came again for the retest, and it's now going up. Which means that the market might be changing direction right now. Okay, the market might be changing a uh, direction right now, and this new trend line is forming. And there's first peak, second peak. Right now, I'm anticipating it to come right here for the uh, fourth. I mean, for the third peak, okay. And after doing all this top-down analysis, that's when you come to. Uh, that's when you come to uh, to your mobile to use this stochastic oscillator indicator, okay. To use this stochastic oscillator. So after doing your top-down analysis, as soon as the market start to approach the support on your trend line. This stochastic oscillator must be on level 20, okay? It must be on level 20. Once all this confirmed, which means that you buy on level 20 after the market reached this support zone, okay? And then if the market reached uh, this resistance zone, which means that on stochastic oscillator, on stochastic oscillator, it must be on level 80, okay? It must be on level 80. And then for further confirmation, it must make a crossover after that at the same time on this uh, price action uh, analysis, it must bounce and then you enter your sale, you ride the market all the way down, okay? So this is how I'm trading using this simple strategy. This is how I'm trading using this simple strategy. You can apply uh, you can apply it on uh, both the bigger time frame and smaller time frame. It only depends with the type of trader you are. If you are a scalper, you can apply it on 30 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, and then if you are a day trader, you can use one hour, four hour for, for your analysis using price action. And then after that, you come to your mobile for further confirmation. Okay. So right now, let me give you uh, the parameters for the stochastic oscillator. Let me give you the parameters for the stochastic oscillator. As we are seeing on parameters, we have got K period is 5, D period is 3, slowing period is 3. 
and then uh, price field low iron method is simple styles we've got main and a uh, signal you just put color that you understand and then on levels there's level 20 and level uh, 80 okay after putting all this on then set time frame or this time frame you press done you press done and this is how your chart looks like after using after putting like the stochastic oscillator okay after putting the stochastic oscillator so make sure that you don't confuse okay first thing is to do top down analysis using pure price action and then after that you now use the stochastic oscillator for further confirmation of your entry and um another thing for take profit and stop loss take profit and stop loss like if you are seeing right here if you are seeing right here i said that i said that when the third touch of the trend line almost uh, right here that's why you anticipate the market to bounce making a third touch okay which means that you will use the previous support for uh, for stop loss which means your stop loss will be uh, somewhere right here on this support okay that's where your stop loss will be uh, that's where your stop loss will be uh, if you are looking for a sale if you are looking for a sale if you are looking for a sale which means that your stop loss which means that your stop loss let me let me do this you have to find the previous resistance you don't just put uh, the level stop loss that you want so right say you can see that my previous resistance is almost somewhere somewhere here okay it's almost somewhere here which means that my stop loss will be right here okay my stop loss will be right here on this zone and then after uh, doing all this you let the market do its thing it either it is going to affect your analysis and goes down or either it is going to hit your stop loss but usually uh, the strategy is almost 90 percent accurate so the probability of hitting stop loss is very low okay the probability of hitting stop loss is very low this is how i'm trading the booming crash using this powerful strategy is very simple and easy okay